Good morning, everyone. It is Friday and I just got out of Walmart. I was gonna record in there and then I actually forgot. So it is what it is. I got all of the items for the Easter baskets for the kids. I was on the fence about making an Easter basket for them, but then I decided, you know what? Why not? What the hell? It is what it is. So my oldest daughter um, and her, I just call him her husband, but boyfriend, um, I'm going to be combining their basket together. And then my youngest daughter, I'm going to get her a basket and um, I, well, I got her a basket and then I'm going to put everything in there. And my mom's birthday is tomorrow. So I did pick up a birthday card for her that I'll get ready. And then I plan on going to the little boutique, not a boutique. It's like a little gift shop, uh, over that's like really, really close to Walmart to see if I can find her something really cute for her birthday. I don't know if we're going to have cake or anything like that. Probably not. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we can find. So it rained all night and all of our 17 inches of snow is pretty much gone. And then we wake up this morning to snow showers and we're supposed to get, I think, five inches of snow or something like that. And it's April Fool's Day, so... Happy April Fool's. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning and it is so cold. It's April Fool's, my mom's birthday. She's coming over at noon for lunch. And I'm right now at St. Vincent de Paul. I'm going to be doing some antique shopping for my eBay store, or I shouldn't say store because I don't have an eBay store. I just have um, like an eBay website or whatever. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to be opening an eBay store or not, but it's definitely a possibility. So I just wanted to come here and see if I could find any pottery pieces. My pottery items um, have seemed to do really well. A lot of people really like pottery mugs, pottery vases, um, you know, all different kinds of pieces with the pottery. So that is something that um, I'm looking for today. Um, and yeah, just basically like smaller antique type items for eBay. But I was actually surprised there's a line to get into the store. It opens at 930. We're almost at 930. It looks like they're opening now. People are like running. I don't know. It's like so crazy to me. Maybe they put out a lot of stuff on Saturday mornings or this is just like the it place to go for Saturday. I don't know. I've never really been here other than just donating stuff um, that I've had. But I also woke up this morning with an upset stomach. When I went to bed last night, my stomach was making a lot of noises. And like all throughout this morning, my stomach has just been a little queasy. So I've just been kind of sipping water and stuff. But yeah, we're going to go out. Um, I think they have opened their doors possibly. And we'll see what they have. Oh, my stomach hurts. I don't know if I'm coming down with something or what is happening, but like, so like I said before, my stomach was making noises all night and now it just feels like kind of like an icky, uneasy feeling. I don't know what it is, but okay, you guys. So I am back from St. Vincent de Paul. I've actually never shopped in St. Vincent de Paul before. Um, I've donated there, but I've never like actually gone around and like shop for things. I have in Goodwill, but this St. Vincent de Paul, I have not, but I found some things. So let me show you guys. So this first item is a pottery piece. And this was kind of, you know, what I was looking for. This was only a dollar and the glaze on it is super cute. I'm gonna have to clean it up, like wash it up a little bit on the bottom, just because I do notice some marks, but this is what it looks like, super pretty, you guys. Look at that purple, and then there's kind of like an orange in there as well, but the uh, glaze is all throughout, and I actually picked this up for only a dollar, so that was a really good deal. Um, so even if I get like, I don't know, five to eight bucks, out of it, that'll be good. But like I said, I just wanna clean it up um, a little bit and get it ready, but ooh, I love it. And then I found a hand-painted um, planter. This was only $1.50. 
super cute. You can definitely tell that it was hand painted on a terracotta uh, little planter, but isn't that pretty? The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a hole in the bottom, but whoever buys it, if they really want to use it like for a real plant or whatever, maybe they can drill a hole or they can find one of those um, plant what do you call it? Like those plastic things, you know, to like stick in there. So then that way, when they do water the plant, like the water drains, because that's one of my biggest pet peeves is if there is no drainage, you're just going to kill your plant. Um, but yeah, this is super pretty. And I don't see a signature on it that I can tell. Um, but that's not to say that there isn't one on there. And I do have to clean it up a little bit because somebody did use it for a plant. Okay, and then they had all of their Pyrex bowls and everything like that in the front of the store. And I was kind of looking and they were like, they were kind of overpriced, not gonna lie. So I went into the back and I was like looking in the plates and stuff like that. And you guys, I found some Pyrex. And also I comped it. And somebody was selling the little one on eBay for $55. So this is one of the um, pieces that I got. And it is this beautiful blue color. Um, I got it for $2. And let me just take the sticker off real quick. Um, here we go. It says Pyrex. And then it has, um, it says for oven and microwave no stove top or broiler. And then it just has the number 37 on it. But I thought it was in really good condition. There's no chips, there's no cracks. And like I said, somebody was selling it for $55, $35, um, like that on eBay, and I got it for two bucks. So I will clean this up and sell this. And then I need to know, should I sell this with this other bowl that I got. Now, I don't know if this one is in the same family. I know this is a Pyrex bowl, but I don't know if like the, uh, what I wanna say, if the prints actually go together, just given that one is blue and one is white with the blue flowers on it. Um, but if you guys can tell me, let me know in the comment section below if you think I should sell these together or if I should sell them separate. Um, pretty good condition. There is no chips. I do notice the tiniest, like when I put it up to the light, you can kind of like see through it. There's like maybe one or two speckles on there, but not a lot at all. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So for $3, I got it for three bucks. Um, I did not comp this one. I just comped the little one. But yeah, we'll see. So I think I did pretty good for my first time, not knowing what was going on. Um, I might go to Goodwill tomorrow if they're open. I'm not sure. We will see, but that's what I got. Oh my God, I just fell asleep. I am so tired. I don't know why. So we had lunch. We had Jimmy John's. It was nice. She opened up her gift and then... I took a picture, which I will insert here, of her and the dog. Bam. And it was nice. We just, you know, like had a moment or whatever. And it was good. And now I woke up. I fell asleep in my chair. It is 4.30 and I am just exhausted. I keep on waking up in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m. I know I know the witching hour, right? And um, I can't get back to sleep. I literally sit on my phone for like an hour and I just, uh, excuse me, I just cannot get back to sleep. So then I'm up and then before I know it, it's time to let the dog out at like 6 a.m. and I let him out and then Bam. I'm exhausted all fucking day. And it has been like this since there's since Wednesday um of this week. And actually like since the time changed, it's been like this. So I don't know you guys. This video isn't gonna be anything too exciting, but I do want to show you guys the kids' Easter's basket. Blah, blah, blah. Can I talk? I do want to show you guys the kids' Easter baskets because 
next weekend, I have a funny feeling it's going to be a very busy weekend. And um, I don't know how much vlogging I'm going to get done. So I hope you guys are like okay with me not vlogging. Oh, and I need to show you guys something. Oh my God, I did it. I posted this on all my stories. So you guys, I or I I got all the cups again from Walmart. These are so cute. I took the orange one. Um, I gave um Annabelle the blue one because her favorite color is blue. And um Izzy, I gave her the pink and the purple. And then Brendan got the green. So, oh, Brendan is um, my oldest daughter's, I mean, they're not married, but I feel like they're, you know, married because they've been together for over 11 years. Um, so I think maybe in the state of Wisconsin, they could possibly be married. I don't know. Like, how does that work? Like that common law marriage? I know in the state of Wisconsin, we do um, accept common law marriage for certain things, but... Anyway, I'm going to show you the Easter baskets now. Okay, so here is the combination Easter basket for my oldest daughter and um, her significant other. So I got this cute little plushie. I don't know what this is, if it's like a teddy bear or I don't know, but I just thought that it was super cute, so I put it in there. And then I got her the pink and purple cup and then his is like a lime green with a dark green on the bottom there. I also picked up um, my daughter some coffee. I got her decaf because she's trying to watch her caffeine level. And all of these candies. I got York peppermint patties. Um, white chocolate Reese's Pieces because her man likes white chocolate. Um, I picked up some of those Little Debbie, uh, brownies, the springtime brownies. Um, I got some Cadbury eggs and I got two of the Reese's, um, what are these things? Just Reese's pieces, but they're in like a carrot shape. And then I also picked them up some Junior Mints. So there's kind of like a little peppermint theme going on here. And I got this Easter basket from walmart it is or it was like i think 15 dollars. it was kind of pricey i probably shouldn't have gone with something like this because to be honest it is kind of flimsy like i was kind of surprised how like flimsy the basket was for being like 15 dollars. but yeah so you can put the the handle up here like so and I just thought that that was really cute. And for my youngest daughter, I pretty much got her the same thing. Only I got her this blue bucket here with like the little bunnies on there. And hers is obviously smaller because it's just her. But I got her the blue cup, which is so beautiful, you guys. I love the blue color. It's like this powdered blue and then it goes down into like a really, really dark blue. I got her a pack of Cadbury eggs, the white chocolate Reese's Pieces, because those, those are our favorite. Oh, Rocky. My goodness. Um, And yeah, everything that I got them, I got her. So it's just like an equivalent. I mean, minus the coffee, because we have all the coffee in all the lands already, and we don't need any more. Um, and she could do without the stuffy. So that is what everyone is getting for Easter. I still need to get Mr. Rocky Rococo maybe a little toy or something like that. He needs like small little toys that I can throw down the hallway for him because he loves uh, chasing little toys and then like bringing them back to me. So what I do is I put like, I have been a collection of Beanie Babies and then also, um, oh, they're like these little Thai like the tiny, tiny, tiny little Beanie Babies that you can get at Walgreens for $5. I have a whole bunch of those. So I stick them all in a bag and then I go all the way down the hallway and I throw each one. And there's probably about 20 of them. So we do two rounds of 20. So he runs down the hallway 40 times and that gets him super tired out for right before it is time to go to bed. Right, baby? Hi, you look like a little Ewok with your, your lips. 
Your toofies. Look at those little toofies. He will not let me brush his toofies. That's okay though. Oh my goodness.